Behind the scenes, you guys never told me how hard it is to take off this fan here. So what I use, PB blaster, torch, heat it up, soak it. And then I didn't have a proper tool. Like this wrench does fit over that little nut. So what I did was I found a piece of iron, right? Drilled a hole in it so it could fit right into this section here and then ran another hole right there. And as you can see, the nut started to come out, which was very surprising. You gotta move this thing this way. All right, that way, that's how you do it. You guys ain't telling me nothing, man. Y'all supposed to be down with me. But y'all didn't even warn me about this. But anyway, um, it's not really about this fan or anything like that, man. It's really about water pumps. So we're gonna talk about water pumps on the 4.6s and the double overhead cam. And we're gonna just check out and see, is there any um, alternative from the stock one? That's what we're gonna be talking about. So let me take off this and then we can talk all about it, man. Later. But let me tell you guys something now. This water pump here, taking it out of this 4.6 here, I know you guys have a lot of headaches yanking this thing out. You gotta pry this thing out. But let's get along with the video. Now this video was mainly about, I was trying to sit there and figure out why did um, Roush use that V10 water pump versus the 4.6 double overhead cam water pump. I really thought it was some deep science, but it really is. The 4.6 double overhead cam in the Mark 8 or the Mustang did not have a mechanical fan. So the 4.6 double overhead cam cooling system goes in reverse. So it makes cooling an issue on track day. So the simple solution that they came up with was taking the V10 water pump and the V10 fan and also the F250 radiator. Now they have a solid cooling system on the car and it did some performance stuff but that is really really it this water pump here which is from a v10 modular motor and they installed it on that 4.6 double overhead cam now mind you this is the long snout like mine it's definitely a long snout versus this one here this is the short snout if you can kind of see there all right, so that one's mainly for uh, mostly of the Mustangs. 2005, I think, Mustangs use the larger snout, like it's like this, and some of the propellers or impellers or whatever they want to call these things here is kind of like this, in a traditional sense like that. So, let's get right back to the Cobra Crown Victoria. Now, this is number 10, as you can see by the headlight over there. This is present time. This ain't no 2014 video or 09 video. Now, if you never knew what these cars sound like, listen. And the guy is abusing the car. This car doesn't just sit in his backyard just chilling. He takes this thing to the track, and as you can see, yeah, he will romp on it no matter what. I love the personality of the guy and the car in this form, man. I'm trying to get in touch with him because I really would like to film this car and the guy about this journey on how he got in this car here. If you're listening or you're watching this video, I'm trying to get in touch with me. Drop me a line, brother. I would really love to check out this car. I will drive all the way to New York to go ahead and check out this car for you. So the reason why I really love this build is, is that they take stuff from other Ford products to make it work you know what i mean they took the rims they took the um water pump from a v10 um modular engine they took a, um the f250 radiator with the f250 fan along with some crown vic um police parts i mean it's just a perfect blend to mix and match everything now this car here a lot of props in the crown victoria panther world man this is a very special unit now as you look inside here you see that center console i'm gonna keep that to myself i know what center console that is from and i'm going to go get one one of these days and we all know that cluster is from a stain gt now when we go up under the hood man this is where the magic is right Wow, you look at it, you got the SVT logo, the Cobra logo up top there, and then the SVT logo over there, along with that V10 water pump with the two F250 fan and the F250 radiator. So now me, I'm, I'm behind the scenes really thinking about how can I upgrade my situation here, man. You know what, and I really found out there's pretty much nothing, unless I buy a water pump from Stewart Components, they have a upgraded situation from our um, 4.6s and everything like that. They have a good one, man. And it costs around $130, which is really not that bad, man. I mean, it's a good upgrade. Something that doesn't add performance, but it adds insurance to your engine, man. And I think that's the only thing that I've seen out there. But I do love the way that Roush took stock components, like from a truck, added on to that double overhead cam engine in that Crown Victoria, like this upgrade here with the fan and with the F250 radiator. 
I really like how he did that, man. And that's what I was sitting here trying to figure out what to do. And I really wanted to get rid of the fan situation on my car. You know, get rid of this and just run a regular, you know, electric fan. So I could add a few ponies and take some of that out. But behind the scenes, man, you know what? If you're running the car really hard or you're planning to run the car really hard, I think the fan situation like this here is a better situation because you know that it will not fail because it's a fan that's fixed, it's mechanical, versus something that's wired up, run by relays, and let's say the relay gets hot, the relay is not gonna function and the fan will not function. So it's best to have it like this old school traditional setup, but how you guys feel about that. And let me know in the comments, man, on some of the ideas that you think they should go on to the 4.6 single overhead cam build. Um, again, I have gotten um, a lot of the other stuff and I wanna show you guys what I bought for the car. And I went and got this item right here. Now you guys may look at this and say what this is, but Mr. Black, he knows. I was telling you, Mr. Black, Dude, I got it already, bro. I got it. Because he was like, yo, BSC, I know you like using and making things work, but dude, they got clips out there for this thing, and I do have it right here. And what it is is that it fits right into this situation here. As you can see, these are already in, and it does fit right into this plug right there. Jetronic Bosch system. So we've gotten little parts for this car little by little and everything man so man thank you guys for watching this episode of build something tv man hope you guys were in line it was pretty much nothing of an episode i just wanted to share with you my findings and if you guys are doing a um pi head swap or a swap or maybe if you got a little slight performance depending on what you're doing with your car or your 4.6 man you can upgrade your water pump but really the stock one would do just fine i may dance behind the scenes and wondering if I'm going to put a performance one in here or I'm just going to leave it really stock. But behind the scenes, I'm going to be working on this um, tube situation here because this one here is going to be a pain in the behind. So I'm going to really sit with it and really figure out which route I am going to take with that, man. So on the next video, we're going to be working on this and seeing what it will be the best solution, how to um, fix and eradicate this problem here, man. So. See you guys on the next one, man. Thank you for liking. Click like and subscribe, man. If you want to donate to the channel, man, you can donate in the description below. But if you do not donate to the channel, man, guess what? Me and you are cool, man. Just check out the videos and comment below and let's have some fun and talk about future swaps, car swaps. And no matter if you got a Chevy, Ford, Toyota, whatever you got, man, you know, just drop a line, man. We can talk about it and tell you the best solution or for your situation or you can actually help me. Oh, man. And we'll see you guys. Oh, man, I got sand that out not sand it out but clean that thing out oh man i'm over here talking on camera we'll see you guys on the next one later you know what makes me love this car so much man that it was a purpose build they built the car basically to teach students how to drive right so they want to put all four of them in there to teach them some hill toe and all of this stuff and how to take corners instead of having one student one at a time they have them all in there four at a time take notes watch the driver and see how his movements are so this is a really special build and this build actually sparked the interest of mercury to make the mercury marauder so this car is very very special and what i like about this owner of this car here that he's in new york city or new york state somewhere he drives the car pretty daggone hard. Me and you, we'll probably have this thing as a museum piece in the back of the yard, just washing it and not doing much to it. But this guy here, he drives the heck out of it. And let me tell you, he drove it to the track six days ago. He drove it up and down, man, look, he really is doing his thing. Now, we need to pressure Mr. Random to build this car pronto. I'm gonna give him two months, man, to just start on this build really you need to start on it brother please send them this link to this video man hey mr random hey it's bst ford here get that build going brother because i want to see it i want to see it would love to see this build being built because i want to see how you're going to put your spin onto it and i want to see the other guys who are helping you build this car i want to see them how they're going to do it and how they're going to do their spin to this and everything like that man and i would love to see this thing being built very soon because if it's not being built very soon um i may um um touch on this t just a little bit i don't know how i ain't got no money like that but I'm going to figure out a way to how to touch on this on my third Crown Victoria build. So Mr. Random, please get to it, brother, please, because I don't feel like building one. <laughs>